guys, so the first journals that I have here are, they were part of a three journal set from Chapters. They were like seriously on sale. It was like four bucks for three of them in a little set. And I didn't like the design of the third one. I think it had like windows, like a window with like a little flower bed underneath and it just looked a little too, like posh or something. So I gave that to my mom because she liked it. And I kept these two. And so the first one is this like cream colored journal with these little like white flowers on them. And I think it's really pretty. Um, it's got the deckled edges. It's got really nice quality, like thick paper. And I like the spacing of the lines. Like I know that's weird and some people might not get it, but I hate lines that are too close together because when I like write, when I write cursive, um, I like there to be in a, like a good amount of space. I hate when like, you know, I write like a G and then my G is touching one of my letters underneath. So that's just got a, a bit of my OCD. And um, this particular book, as odd as it sounds, writes amazingly with a uh, Pilot G2 like uh, 0.10 or 10 uh, ballpoint. Um, I'm not sure what the exact term is, but if you look up like Pilot G2 10 or something, um, you will definitely get the right journal and, or the right pen. And that is a pen that I love to write on like really thick paper like that. And I love to do cursive with Pilot G2s because they're so smooth. Um, they're just wonderful to do cursive in. Um, so the next one I have here is simple. It's just this like, I don't know, dark blue color with this little gold embossed flower again. I'm not gonna show the front because I, actually started using this when I was in Canada over Christmas. Every time I go and visit my family in Canada, I bring a little mini journal and kind of document my times, put in my pictures, any mementos, and kind of just have like my own separate journals for life that are like Canada journals specifically, which is random, but then I can always kind of be like, oh, there was that time I went and that time I went, and it's all just kind of in one, you know, a few journals instead of spread across and I had to like look for it, so. I like that system for me. And so the set had a blank set or a blank notebook, which my mom got this um, dot grid one and um, and then also the lined one. And I got to say, I don't actually love the dot grid in this one. Um, my favorite kind of dot grid is when it's really subtle, like some of the other ones I showed you. And this one was just a little bit too um, loud and, <laughs> Yeah, I think I would have liked it a lot better if it was a subtle, a more subtle dot grid. Um, this one is one that I finally got because I got it at a Canadian price, which is like really good compared to um, American. So like, let's say it was 20 bucks Canadian. And then it was like, I think on sale, maybe a couple dollars off, but I can't remember. And it was the color that I've always wanted of Electrum. Um, and so I started using it and I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't really love it. I got the dot grid one. Uh, this one has a nice pale dot grid, so I like that it's not overly obtrusive or anything, but it's too close together for my tastes. The dots are just too close together, and and then like the two, like, so let's say, this is really random, but let's say I was to write from like this up to not the line above, so not the line above, but the line above that. So, but then that, that feels too big for me. And then just like the one line on its own feels too small for me. So I know that's really random, but it's just my personal taste. <laughs> Super random, but I just uh, don't love it. But what I do like it is that it is hardback. I normally don't choose hardback unless it is spiral bound. And so what I, I've always wanted to try one, so I don't regret getting it, but would I get one again? I don't think so. The paper does feel really good quality. Um, I think I would just save it for um, I started using it for sermon notes, like when I'm at church, I just use it because it's hardback, so um, I've got good support when I'm writing. Okay, the next one that I got is super cute. Um, it's like Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night Painting on a journal. Um, I just saw it and thought it was so pretty. It was, I guess I can show you, $21 Canadian. Um, and it's just got normal, good, thick size lines in it. Um, not too thin, which we know bothers me. Um, the paper feels average quality. I like that it's a little bit creamier instead of stark white. Um, 
it's just a really, really beautiful notebook. Um, so I'm really happy about it. Um, I've actually wanted something that's like Starry Night themed for a while because I just think it's, you know, it's pretty. I know it's kind of like some people who are into art might say it's basic, but I don't care. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, problem I foresee, again, hardback, not spiral bound. And to boot, it has this like magnetic clip thing, so I could very easily see that being frustrating. This is definitely not going to be a notebook. I'm going to put any like tip-ins or mementos in because it would easily fill up and then you wouldn't be able to close it. So um, I'll have to think of what I want to use this for, but I'm really happy I got it. I don't feel any regret at all. The next journal I got is this special edition Sailor Moon notebook. It is so beautiful. It's part of the Moleskine uh, special edition. I got it from a little journaling store in Canada for $35 and what's cool is, so I have it sealed still, but what's cool is that when I was looking it up, it looks like it is real retailing for like double and a bit of what I bought it for. And so I plan to most likely just keep it um, in its wrapping and then maybe sell it in the future if it, you know, gets more expensive and I need the cash. But for now I do have it in my collection and I might use it, but again, it's not totally my style, it's just hardcover, not spiral bound, um, but I just loved the design so much, it was so cute, so I just kind of had to have it when I saw it. Um, it has these limited edition little stickers in there, so that's also pretty exciting. Okay, and so the last two notebooks that I got, I got for Christmas, and they're from a local Pacific Northwest artist, her name is Gianna Andrews, and I got these from her, and they're really pretty. I really like them. Um, again, <laughs> it's kind of funny, because I'm like, I don't like hardcover, not spiral bound notebooks, you know, just like regular hardcovers. Don't actually love them in a lot of circumstances, but I just kind of happened to end up buying a lot of those, so. Um, they're definitely usable to me. It's just like my preference would be for these other styles. Um, and so I, I like these, you know, I think that they're really cute. I love the design, the inside. And again, this is personal preference. This isn't anything wrong, but the inside, um, I like that it's numbered and um, page quality feels, you know, like average quality. Um, but the lines are a little close together for me, but that is just my personal preference. Um, and so just really, you know, stoked off these local artist journals. I actually got some of her um, cards and other things for Christmas too. I kind of went a little bit hot wild. So I thought these were cool. And like I said, um, nothing wrong with them at all. Just my personal preference is for thinner or I think thicker lines like more space and um, things like that so those were cool I'm really happy to have all of these I feel so incredibly grateful um, nothing makes me happier than when I am done a journal and I get to go and look through my collection and find the next journal to use and they're just all so beautiful and they bring me joy and they're just such a wonderful reflective um, way to spend your time and so yeah I am incredibly grateful for this it's definitely a hobby of mine and let me know what kind of journals you guys like let me know um, which of mine that you really liked and I hope that you guys have an amazing day uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps my small channel. And I hope you guys have a great day.